Hello, good morning everyone. This is Candace Ipos with JSA. We are here live. This is our first interview of the day at DCD Virginia. So we're right outside of Washington, DC and Leesburg, Virginia. Um, I have a very special guest who has been running around the world since we last spoke. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, so I'm gonna read your titles because there's a lot to say here. Oh, so we've got Mark Gusikoff. He's been on JSA TV. You've probably seen his face on here a couple of times this year at, uh, at, Yoda, at Yada and Data Cloud Austin. Um, so Mark Mark is Chief Certification Officer with International Data Center Authority, IDCA, and then Advisory Board Chairman with Nomad Futurist. Did I get that right, Mark? You got it okay. right, and you nailed it. Oh, thank you Especially so much. Especially for so early in the morning. Yeah, thank you so much. I haven't had coffee. We were talking about this. So yeah, awesome. Okay, let's rock and roll then. So let's talk first of all about how you're all over the place. Oh I my mean, God. not men just like literally, physically all over the place yeah, in the one, world. One day I'll sleep. Yeah. <laughs> right. One day. So how's that going? Uh, do you know what city you're in right now? And yeah, where, what have you been Istanbul? up to? Are we is yeah. Istanbul? Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Um, no, this is, uh, th and thanks again for having me. I always love doing these. And it's nice that I get to do it with somebody different every time. Yeah, too. So, that's right. Um, we're branching out. Um, it's it's just been a busy row. And I mean, International Data Center Authority, we're, we're all over the place. We're yeah. global. Um, we're bringing this entire digital economy together in big ways. But the thing that makes me the happiest about this, and I think everybody's going to know this because I'm kind of a friendly, chummy guy, um, is the collaboration and working with everybody in the industry, being able to bring this industry together and, and come together. Yeah. Um, last week, uh, I, I won't go back too far, but last week, um, Idaho National Laboratories, the world's largest nuclear test reactor facility on the planet, um, invited our industry to collaborate with them on what's coming next for nuclear power and nuclear energy. Um, this is a Department of Energy initiative so that we can listen to each other and share what we're experiencing from our industry and, and give back to them. And then also what they're experiencing, give back to us. Uh, a lot of people want to know what the takeaways for that. I'll try and keep it high level because we don't have six hours. Um, it was a three-day event, so it was really great. There were some some really smart people in the room, very intelligent uh, scientists, a couple of utility people. Um, one of the things that came out of it, um, th I think they didn't realize that there's a need for power transmission. So <clears throat> the whole transmission line, uh, where do we have fiber? Where can we put small modular reactors in where there's currently critical infrastructure? Um, that, that came out of that, and that's good because now we start the conversation. Um, one of the other things that came out of it was naturally workforce development, which I'm very passionate about with Nomad Futurist and with IDCA for certification. Um, so how are we going to train these people? Where are we going to get them from? How's that going to come out? And that was kind of a mind blow for them. Like, boy, we really need to be on top of this and thinking about it. Um, and then also kind of how people within this space are, are working together and mm -hmm. coming together, that collaborative part of it. Right. Um, and what we're going to do next, how this thing's going to unfold. So really sharing the information for what we know about each other, but also what we don't know. And some people, you know, when we were in there, took it from the perspective of, man, there's a lot of stuff we don't know about each other. But until we actually start talking about that and we uncover what we don't know, now we have a place to start. Yeah. So yesterday... Uh, I was at Department of Energy HQ uh, in, in downtown D.C. Um, very honored to be working with Brian Smith um, from the Department of Energy. And uh, we had a room full of people from the Department of Defense, uh, some wow. senior top dogs uh, from that organization, and then also White House as well, uh, and Department of Energy, again, with some utilities in the room. Uh, but we're trying to come up with what the playbook looks like for uh, speed to market, deployment, scalability, um, what the things are that we need to be held accountable to mm -hmm. and how we need to start delivering the message for community engagement and make people aware that nuclear is not just doom and gloom, right. that this is the necessary entity that we need for renewable, sustainable resource uh, with low carbon footprint mm -hmm. uh, and be able to get the power that we all so desperately need, not just our industry, but for the world united. Right. Right, right. Well, I'm glad that we're starting the, our very first interview of the day talking about collaboration because I think that's so important. Uh, Me too. We're, we'll be talking about that a lot today. And of course, DCD in general is talking about that a lot at the event today yeah. and yesterday. Um, so, I, you know, we're, I, 
I hope that many, most of us, if not all of us, are striving for greater collaboration in the industry. Um, so is there anything you want to say additional to what you just said about cross-company partnerships, mentorship programs, that kind of thing to oh, kind of wow. bring the industry together? Yeah, you hit. You said the M word, right? So I always, I always like to mentor people coming in the industry, but it's one of the things that we need to be doing a whole lot more of. So with the need for three hundred thousand, you know, engineering type people coming into the industry with the advent of AI and this growth spurt that we're about to have, uh, it's critical for us to be focusing on emerging talent and yeah. what we're doing to bring people in. Um, I also want to make sure that we don't overlook community engagement and community mm -hmm. awareness that. Right we're delivering the right message the right. right way that we're breaking down some of the stereotypes that we have in the industry, uh, false media perception that we're energy hogs or that we're water hungry. It's not the case. I mean, yes, there's a use case for what we do and that does come at a price, right. but we are responsible. I mean, we are a very responsible industry when it comes down to how we're held accountable and what we're doing. I mean, green in a book, I'll give a shameless <laughs> plug. I mean, there's a lot of this information contained in here that, it, it highlights what we're doing and how we're being, you know, socially responsible and yeah. focused on an ESG solution uh, where we're looking at environment and we're looking at the social impact and then the governance component of that as well. Right. From the mentorship uh, component, uh, you know, shameless plug, Nomad Futurist in collaboration with iMasons today, um, iMasons is hosting JROTC students. They were just over here getting breakfast a moment ago. Um, you know, always when you see people who don't look like us in the industry, um, who may be a little younger, maybe a different demographic, um, it's always important to go up and, and grab them and say hi and say, hey, thank you right. for being here. We really appreciate you being in this industry. And, and they'll remember that. Mm -hmm. it, it's important that you welcome people coming into this space because that next generation that's coming, we're so far behind the curve. We yeah. should have been doing this with people who were in third grade and fourth grade 10 years ago so that we were ready to bring them into the industry. And now we're trying to focus on people who are of high school age or college age so that we can bring them in and show them this is a great place to be. It's so much fun. I mean, yeah. people get to meet, you know, me and, and you, Candace, and, and we're a good time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we generally have a good time at these events. Yeah, and and you know, I, shameless plug. You gave a shameless plug to Greener Data. I'll give one to I Am Women's uh, lunch uh, yesterday yeah. that I went to. I love going to that event. It's always like right in the beginning of a DCD event, um, and it's a great way to launch. Um, and we talked about exactly what you're just what you were just saying, how important the DEI initiatives are and, and getting folks into the industry and making sure that people are aware at a very young age uh, that this industry exists. Not only that, yeah. but it's incredible and it's full of amazing people. And, you know, it's an exciting, dynamic industry to be a part of. Absolutely. Um, like many of us, like me, just kind of happened into it. But, you know, it's good to be more intentional about you know, bringing people into it together. So. Like getting in a room and no one looks like me. Yeah. That's, that's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, anyway, great event. Sure. Um, so you've covered all of the big, so we wanted to talk about nuclear, community engagement, workforce development, collaboration. So I think you've covered it. Um, is there anything else that you want to say about uh, collaboration, workforce development, anything else that any final words? Yeah, I mean, the, I think the takeaway message, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, is we all need to be working together. I mean, it, there's it, it's this very frenemy industry that we have. That's not the right word, but there's another word people use, and I don't remember. It's like com confronted or whatever they say. You know, we're we're all very uh, we're all very tied into this space, and yeah. and we all work together. And one of my favorite parts about IDCA is that you know people come up to me and they. They know they kind of know who we are and they know us a bit as a educational entity, but we are literally building the global digital economy across the entire planet. And we want to make sure that this industry is the best that it can possibly be, that it's resilient, that it's here to stay, that we're responsible within it. But when we work with countries and we work with, you know, uh, companies and we work as suppliers and, and we're bringing this whole thing together. Um, it takes a lot of collaboration. It takes yeah. a lot of effort. You know, we're not just training people, although we do an excellent job, better than anyone else in the industry from accreditation standpoint, mm -hmm. but it takes layers, you know, partnering with Nomad Futurist mm -hmm. on demystifying digital infrastructure for emerging talent. Yeah. And then also being that gateway, that entry point for younger people in the industry. But I say emerging talent because it's not just the young people. It's also people coming out of military service or yeah. people like me who came from industrial automation or aviation or department of defense or, you know, military contracts that they have an understanding for what we do. Mm -hmm. There's just a, a sidestep over. 
for how they can be effective in the industry. And I always say, take the skills you have and use them. And there's a place for everybody. If I can do this with an English degree and a theater and acting degree, anybody can do it. There it's you that go. easy. There you go. All right. Well, that's a great way for us to wrap up. Thank you so much, Mark. I'm oh, really, thanks, I'm so happy that we started the day off with you. Oh, um, and uh, thank you to everyone out there viewing and watching JSA TV. Happy networking. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.